first of all, there are three kinds of people in the world. Number one, who are very optimistic about AGI and they don't want to try any other tool other than ChatGPT, Cloud Core, etc. or Cursor. They believe that AGI will come one day and all the tools they need will be integrated in one place. They don't need any, any other tool in the world. That will be their full-time software engineer they can deploy. Number two kind of people are who just don't believe in AGI. They just don't want to try at all. They're very, very pessimistic. And number three kind of people are like me, and also like you, who believe AGI is here to an extent, it's more important to build systems around it, what we have. If we have an intern level of AGI, not a full-time engineer or employee level of AGI, it's more important to make systems around it so that it's better than an average software engineer rather than like the one percent, you know, scientist we want to invent. Uh, now it's like a couple hundred thousand a month. Couple hundred thousand bugs yeah. caught with Greptile every single one. Using tools to generate code in production environments, merging them safely, that's a way harder problem than just writing code for a side project or as a student. Why do you think there is demand for better pull request if AI is going to ship the best quality code already? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a really good question. Uh -huh. So there, there, there's a couple of things. So, uh, so so one is that AI today actually is imperfect. Uh, if you write code, and you know, obviously imperfect might be an understatement. In practice, like some of the code that AI writes is great. Some of it is really terrible. Uh, and the, the truth is that even as the agents get infinitely intelligent, we are not getting better at giving instructions year on year. Mm -hmm. Humans are not getting smarter every year. And we are, it's, it's hard for us to express exactly what we want up front to an AI. And so what happens in practice is we work with these agents iteratively. So in Cursor, you don't say build Salesforce. You know, you, you give it pieces. You go, you do this, then do this, then do this. Um, you might do this at, at the level of like, you know, per pull request one prompt. And this is very unrealistic. This is only a small, easy number of tickets that can be done that way. And you probably work with these agents very iteratively. Now, if humans are going to be involved that deeply, no matter how smart the AI gets, it will still uh, be it'll still be producing mistakes because humans are involved and humans make mistakes. So in, in reality, like that's one sort of source of errors and mistakes that happens in code. The second aspect of it is that the tools that people use to build software will always be fragmented. And that's because if we're going to work with these AIs very closely and these tools very closely, um, engineers are very opinionated about what tools they want to use. Some people will prefer Cursor, some people prefer Cloud Code, some people prefer Client and so on. And if everyone is using different tools to write their code, you will need some sort of standardizing layer. And it turns out that the way in which we produce software through Git and in GitHub is we open pull requests and we, we write code. It doesn't matter how we write the code. You know, if you go to a software company in 2018, pre-AI, everyone's using a different IDE, 